The state government has launched a scathing attack on construction company St Hillier's, calling its management a bunch of grubs. The company went into voluntary administration last week because of a failed project in Victoria. St Hillier's was in charge of 12 housing developments across the state. But the government has now terminated the contract and taken over the projects. For more, we're joined by Eliza Blue at State Parliament. Eliza, how did it come to this? Well, Juanita, earlier today, St Hillier said that despite being in administration, it could finish its projects in New South Wales on time and on budget. So the opposition asked the Minister, Greg Pearce, why he didn't follow, follow the lead of his colleagues in Victoria and Queensland and strike a deal with the company so it could restart work. Here's a bit of what what Greg Pearce had to say. We've got this St Hillier's group, this St Hillier's group, oh, man, cynically <laughs> putting their company into administration, putting a company into liquidation ra to avoid paying their debts, Go to ahead. avoid paying their creditors, to avoid paying their liabilities on a project in Victoria. Shows. And apparently the Deputy Leader of the Opposition Shows. wants me to continue dealing with these grubs. You didn't tell us that they were going to behave like white children grade 1980s developers, the sort of people that Eddie O'Meady deals with every day. So what does all this mean for the subcontractors who have been working on the housing developments? Well, Juanita, we spoke to many this afternoon who feared they wouldn't be paid. But Greg Pearce says the government is now managing those contracts and will pay the bills and wants to use all the existing contractors to make sure that work is completed as soon as possible. Eliza Blue reporting there from State Parliament.